Hey guys, today I am going to talk about buying new card games when you have other options like old card games, the big free Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Magic. Uh, I'm going to use MetaZoo as an example only because, you know, it's an example, but a lot of other card games failed. There was Titan, TCG. There are a few other failed card games I covered in my channel. For every Kickstarter that makes it as big as MetaZoo, there are... 5, 10 Kickstarter card games that never get off the ground. Now, I will present a really easy argument because I think this argument has to be made first. MetaZoo is a scam. And let me give you the two scenario. Let's say that you have a event and you're pay, you advertise everywhere on social media, ev everywhere you can, you advertise that the winner will get $50,000, some cash, some product, and that the winner wins the event and you say, hey, you know, we don't have it right now, but we're going to get in touch with you later. How long would you expect later to be? Um, now, imagine TCG Con, which is now had to cancel. And I believe they're going through bankruptcy right now. They did the exact same thing. They offered huge prize payouts that they were not able to commit to. And judges, people didn't get paid. At no point in time right now is the internet think TCG Con is not a scam. Yet MetaZoo did it, and the MetaZoo player base still believes it's the, the very player base that are winning these prizes and not being paid, even though they were promised multiple times, even in Michael Dell's big update letter. Wouldn't you think that's a scam? Like, wouldn't you think that would be a scam, right? You went to this under the perception that you could, if you, that you won, you would get $50,000 and you got zero. You won and you got zero, right? It is a bait and switch scam. It's the exact, you know, you were baited with high prizes. I would assume that either I, the prize is there or I would be receiving a check in the mail very soon after. And this is the understanding, I think, of most players who attended that tournament. All right, that's one example. Second is the pre-orders. Uh, we talked about clutch games, clutch cards, and how they would collect all these pre-orders for One Piece and, and Pokemon and, and Magic, and then they would cancel them and not refund the money. That is the definition of a scam. That is what MetaZoo has been doing for a very long time, for over a year. I'm not too clear about like the Valentine products, not this Valentine in 2024, but last year's Valentine's in 2023. But I do know one particular thing, native streamer kits. They were never delivered. People paid $100. Some people ordered multiple of them. And if you saw a card, if a card shop did this, people would be very mad. So why are the MetaZoo players not more mad at this when literally it is their money and they are already paid? For a product that, until this point in time, which has been over a year, uh, has never been delivered or there's been no recent updates as, you know, what would happen with the... I mean, you already paid your money and they used it already. They probably used it already. That's why they're, quote, the Mike Wardell's best case scenario is forcing the company through bankruptcy. Do you know what bankruptcy is? Bankruptcy is those pre-orders go away. You don't ever have to deliver on those pre-orders. Everyone that you owe money from a printer shop to the players, to the pre-orders, to the customer, basically all that in bankruptcy is wiped clean. And the court says, you don't owe anyone any money now, right? That's what bankruptcy, people don't understand what bankruptcy is. Bankruptcy is basically, we promised all these people money. We promised the players money. We promised the, um, Vending machine or the, our vendors money. We promised the card producer money. We promised the um, sponsorship money. Maybe you promised Sanrio licensing money. Bankruptcy is we can't pay for this because we're a bad business. So we need you to relieve us of our debt. So who suffers during bankruptcy? It's the pre people with pre orders. There's the players who are owed money. It's everyone involved in MetaZoo suffers during bankruptcy who supported MetaZoo. In a time where they probably didn't think bankruptcy was even an option on the table. You would not go to a tournament that's advertising $50,000 
with the idea that this company is going to bankrupt the next day. You, no one would think about that, right? But that's the reality of what happened. You wouldn't pre-order from a company. Let me ask you right now, how many of you would pre-order from MetaZoo right now? The answer is not many of you. But financially, it's no different because they have your money, either your prize money or your pre-order money. And in bankruptcy, they basically are told by a judge in the U.S. system they don't have to pay back. Good on them. And they, they just start the company from anew. So the reason Mike Waddell cannot force it to bankrupt is he doesn't own 51%. That's the only reasonable solution. If he owned 51%, he can force it to go bankrupt. And then he would create it again. And then the same people, the same Timmy's would buy into it again. And then also get scammed. So I, I, want, to, I want to leave no doubt. I don't want to leave a gray room or any of this. Like, the behavior of MetaZoo has been a scam. I make fun of Alpha Investments a lot, but give him credit. He's actually delivered on the product. That's not been the problem. He hasn't held tournaments and not paid people. These are two very serious problems because they go against exactly what your player base is doing. Your player base is trusting you that if they give you your money, you will deliver them a product. Your player base is trusting you if they spend their time. Maybe they book a flight, a hotel room, because they're really in, in, they really love the idea of going, winning a Meta Zoo thing. Then you will pay them what you said that the winner gets. These are two basic things that are violated and that are not legal in America. I don't know if Mike is from a different country or something, but he's not legal here in America. So. That's the problem with MetaZoo. The problem with MetaZoo can be summarized quite very, very simply as they are a scam. They are scammers. And going back to the trash can and kind of why I, I want to make this video is they had what? What? What do you think? 10 pallets of MetaZoo. Whatever MetaZoo cards they are, why not pay a little bit shipping? You can bulk ship it, freight ship it, and then give it to the winner and say, you know what? We don't have cash for you today. But we got some, you know, MetaZoo product and hopefully you enjoy it. Or give it to the people who have ordered native. I know this is not native, but this is some UFO and this is kind of what we have. Instead, they throw in the dumpster. That shows how little respect they have for their players. Right? This product that can actually be utilized in a beneficial way to at least partially make whole the players who are not being paid and the the players who pre-ordered the streamer native kit at, at least that product if not more products was just thrown in a dumpster they, they couldn't think of a better thing to do with them right when they owe that much money now people are like oh it's for legal reasons tax reasons. it's not you're going you're entering bank if the best case scenario which mike waddell wants that he cannot enforce is bankruptcy then your job is to make people as whole as possible before you hit that stage. That is your legal requirement. If you're dumping product that could be given to individuals that could, you know, at least alleviate, mitigate the damages they suffered, and you're just throwing them in the trash can, that's actually illegal, guys. If, if the idea is you go bankrupt because you cannot liquidate your assets even if that means setting them on fire. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.